from the daily capture. There's a ton to cover, and I won't be able to cover everything, but I want you to know that I am available if you ever have any questions or anything. My name is George. So once you install table capture, you'll see an icon like this in the top right. This is the table capture pop-up. When you click this, table capture will scan the page and look for every single table that it can find on the page. One caveat there is a lot of the tables that look like tables to you are not actually using HTML table tags, and that's where the table capture workshop comes in. And I'll get to that later, but for the most part, uh, in this pop-up window, I just want to cover the fact that you can do batch actions. Uh, so if you wanted to select all the tables on the page and get all of those into a CSV, Excel, etc., you can do that kind of thing. Um, and then of course you can just uh, hover over a page and then export to Google Sheets. And that's pretty cool. Um, and then also, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but this table has links in them, and the data that came out did not have the links. A lot of folks get tripped up by that. You can go to Options, turn on Extract Link URLs from Table Cells, click Save, come back to this guy here, and then Refresh. And when you go back to the table, I don't remember which one it was specifically, but uh, when you export again, in Google Sheets, you'll get this pop-up. You usually don't even have to wait for the pop-up, but sometimes it's fun to do that. When you paste, you'll actually get the, the URLs as well. Uh, so you can see it's a bit messier, but here we have all the URLs that are linked to in this Wikipedia page. Um, so that's that's the pop-up window. Again, if you wanted to export to CSV or even screenshot a table, uh, these are all features that are available. I think the magic of table capture comes from the workshop, however. So let's go to this page. Um, this is a table that actually isn't using an HTML table tag, but with table capture in the workshop, you can still get it. So you can just right click the table, select launch workshop for selection. Here you'll see that the area of the table that you right clicked on is highlighted. What you need to do in this situation is you need to kind of give table capture hints about where the table begins and ends. And so the way you do that is you click this select parent element button until the entire table is wrapped in this orange glow. So I'll click this once, table capture will go up the hierarchy of the HTML page and uh, wrap that in an orange glow. And you can see that a row is now selected. And so we have to do that one more time up until the table is selected. And here you can now see the day looks pretty great. We have 50 rows, 25 columns. If I select this button here, which is which will take you to the table capture edit table view, you can see that all this data has come out, and that looks really great. And from this view, again, you can do all of the same actions that you're used to. Uh, you can also delete columns, delete rows. I'll do a shift click here and, and do a batch delete five rows, that sort of thing. And there are tons of other bells and whistles, but I won't cover them in this video. What I do want to cover is that this table in particular is a multi-page dynamic table. So here you have, you can see that there are 951 rows and there are 20 pages. And it'd be kind of obnoxious if you have to, if you have to export, copy it to Google Sheets, go to the next page and do that again 20 times. That's kind of absurd. With table capture, you can turn on this dynamic table uh, capture toggle and enable auto paging. And when you click the next page button, table capture, taper, table capture will remember which button you pressed and then continue to press it until it reaches the end of the data set. Uh, and so here you can see that you now have 200 rows, 250 rows. Every few seconds, it'll just keep hitting that button. And when it gets to the end of this data set, when it hits the button 20 times, it'll just stop. And then you can export the data to wherever you'd like. So I'll just turn it off when it hits 500 rows here. And there we go, I'll turn that off. Let's export it to, uh, to Google Sheets for funsies. All right, cool. So here you can see we have 500 rows. And similarly, if you wanted to, you could export to Excel. You just press that button, it'll download. When it opens up, You'll see the data is beautiful. I'll 
500 rows, that's great. And uh, yeah, you could also export it to CSV or just copy it to the clipboard. Again, there are tons of bells and whistles, but this is meant to be just a, an overview of some of the main features and uh, I hope you have a, a lot of fun discovering the rest. Thanks for your time.